Chocolate and Cheese, Series 3, Chapter 17 I'm Sorry Read by Zane Carney Lars's heavy breathing can barely be heard beneath the sound of the tracks rattling under the train. That's tough, Lars. It is, said Jack Johnson, trying to calm Lars down after his retelling of his problems. His arm around Lars's puffing body as Lars nodded in response to Jack. But I think that, stuttered Jack, being interrupted by Lars's phone. Shit, sorry, said Lars, still catching his breath as he pulled out his phone. It's a voicemail from Sam, said Lars, pressing play on the voicemail. Hey Lars, look, firstly I want you to know that there is nothing between me and Jenny. Nothing. The only reason we were talking in secret is because we were arranging a surprise birthday party today, which you never got to see. Secondly, I would never do anything to destroy your relationship with Jenny. I love you, bro. Laters, said Sam. I love you too, Lars. Please come back. I miss you, said Jenny. There is your answer, said Jack, as the train began to slow. The next stop for this service to Wellington is Tupal, said a computerized voice from the overhead speaker, as the train halted in Tupal. Well, this is my stop. Good luck, Lars, said Jack as he stood and began to exit the train. Thank you, Jack. You too, said Lars, as Jack stepped out of the doorway. Wait, Jack! I meant to ask, why are you here in New Zealand? asked Lars, as the doors began to close. Oh, I'm here for a... stuttered Jack, being cut off by the door ceiling shut. Lars's eyes darted back down to his phone, as he began to dial Sam's number. Meanwhile, Sam and Jenny stood in the doorway of Sam's house. I'll call you if I hear from him, reassured Sam, as Jenny began to walk out of the house. I know. Th thank you, Sam, she said, turning from Sam and beginning to walk up the driveway. Sam turned and walked back into the room. As he did, he saw his phone ringing on the bench. Sam rushed over and grabbed it, and then sprinted back to the door. Jenny! shouted Sam. Jenny turned back to Sam and began to sprint back towards him through the doorway and back into the house. Sam answered the phone. Hello? said Sam. It's me, said Lars. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to meet, said Jenny. To go over everything. They say the time's supposed to heal ya, but I ain't done much healing. Sung Lars, Jenny and Sam in unison before Jenny snatched the phone from Sam. Lars, I... said a Jenny before Lars interrupted her. I, I know, I was stupid and I'm sorry for running off. I just thought... stuttered Lars before being interrupted by Sam. Dude, I I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been so secret about the whole... stuttered Sam before he was interrupted by Lars. Nah, man, I, I shouldn't have overrated, said Lars. I'm sorry said Sam, Lars and Jenny in unison. Silence filled the air as no one spoke for what seemed like forever, but in reality took 15 seconds. Now what? asked Lars, as unsure as the other two about how they would fix their mistakes.